Buenas tardes. Bueno, no hablo mucho en portugués y un poco inglés también. Quería preguntar, ¿cómo se ha sentido en este primer partido y qué es lo que esperan de este torneo, entendiendo un poco la situación que vivieron en el año 2019? Do, do I want me to speak in English or in Spanish? I, I, I can't speak Spanish. I can try it like a Portuguese with Spanish together. É, então, a gente, a gente tem se preparado bastante para esse torneio. Há uns 15 dias, em janeiro, a gente se preparou bastante lá no Rio Grande do Sul. E a gente agora com a Pia, tem, ela tem feito um trabalho muito bom. A gente espera cada vez melhorar. Acho que foi o primeiro jogo hoje. E a partir desse jogo, a gente quer melhorar cada vez mais. A gente sabe que tem dois grandes jogos pela frente. E a gente vai tentar o máximo para vencer e sair com o título desse torneio. Uh, the different, the difference I think was because in the in the first half we're a little nervous and we're not like passing the ball along from one side to the other and we're just trying like to find the straight ball to score. But when we put the ball on the ground and pass uh, together, we got the chance. We got the PK from like a change of passes. And in the second half, we got new players. We got young players in, and then we 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 heard what the coach said in the in the halftime, and then we we can we did a, a better job in the second half. So I think the the most important difference uh, between the first and second half was like we played together in the second half. We changed it from one side to the other and find the we we could create more chances. Uh, I think there's a lot of things we can improve in our team, uh, especially today, I think, in the midfield. We're missing two important players. It, it was Formiga and Luana. They, they, they play for PSG, and they could not come because the the situation in our, in our world now. But I think uh, we can improve, like passing more, like more from the defense to the midfield and to the attack. Not try to uh, get the straight ball. But uh, today was the first game where we're a little nervous, and then for the next game we're gonna be better. We're gonna use more the midfield and then find uh, the pocket player to create chances. Hello, I was hoping that you could maybe give us some insight into what your team's approach is for this tournament, just in terms of goals and and what you're hoping to build ahead of the Olympics. Um, here we're trying to get prepared for the Olympics. So it's not just this tournament. We're looking forward to the Olympics. So uh, in this tournament, we're going to see like young players coming in and we're going to see like a lot of changes because PI is still trying to find the ideal team for the Olympics. So it's going to be hard. It's not going to be the same team every game. So it's a, a work, a long time work. So we're going to be better as soon as we keep playing and then PI is going to find the ideal team for the Olympics. Yeah, I think it it it's a little bit of like a challenge because I was supposed to go back to my country at the beginning of the year, but I could not go back. I I used to play in China and I 
I should be there in, the, in January. So I could not go back to my team, and I was training with the national team in January. And after that, I was training by myself. So it's hard to play a... Uh, uh, Games like this, when you're not training with your, your club, you're just training by yourself, doing your fitness and you're, like, you're lifting. and It's hard, but it's the, the way the world is now, so we're just like trying to get used to it and do our best, like how we can do. good afternoon, good evening, congratulations on the win, first of all. Thank you. Uh, I, I want to ask you about you know, the next match on Sunday, of course, against the United States. Um, Pia, of course, has a long history with the U.S. How does that help your approach moving forward, moving into this tournament against what really is the best team in this field? Uh, yeah, we all know that it's going to be a hard game. U.S. is the one of the best team in the world. And Pia... She was the coach of the U.S. and she knows how they play. She, she knows how they, they used to play before and now she's watching and studying the team now. But I think she's going she's gonna to do her best. She's going to use our best players against the U.S. And we're going to do like a great job. We used to do a great job with P and now against a good team, it's always, it's always good to play against the, the best ones. So we're going to be prepared. And we're gonna like take all the chances we can do, like we can get uh, against the U.S. Thank you.